So, my background today is a little bit different, mainly because I'm in the Florida Keys instead of my usual place, and also because of that reason I do not have my usual samples or bottles. I don't even have a tripod, I'm just holding up my phone. But, it's not going to stop me from making my usual videos. They might be a little bit shorter and a little bit more kind of bootleg makeshift, but still going to do it. So, today's video is going to be about the difference between Baccarat Rouge 540 and Oud Satin Mood. So both of these are from uh, Maison Francisco Jean, which is of course a very high quality French uh, perfume brand. So these two particular fragrances are very well known, very popular, more so Baccarat Rouge 540, but Oud Satin Mood is also very prominent, also very strong. You know, they have many similarities, but they also have some important differences. So I'm gonna start with Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, the main thing about this is that it's primarily a spicy sweet fragrance. So the main things you're gonna get, you're gonna get some some notes of fir wood, you're gonna get some ambergris notes, that sort of thing. There's also a little bit of saffron thrown in there. But even though the notes that are listed are not particularly sweet, the fragrance still smells pretty sweet. Um, and that's just how it's formulated. It's also extremely strong. Uh, every time I put on Baccarat Rouge, it's just monumentally strong. Uh, so you don't really need to put on too much. But the overall smell of Baccarat Rouge, it's obviously high quality. It's obviously very luxurious. It's also very expensive. Uh, the average bottle is about two to three hundred dollars, depending on what you know version of Baccarat Rouge you get. But um, Obviously, it's a good fragrance. Also, it's a little bit oversaturated at the moment. It was even more oversaturated a few years ago. These days, a little bit less so. But besides that, it's still a good fragrance, especially if you're looking for something very strong, long-lasting, and sweet. Now, Oud Satin Mood, which is the one I prefer if I had to pick between one or the other, the Oud Satin Mood is really, really strong as well. But I would say in a smoother and more natural sense, it, it definitely has a more natural smell to it. The primary notes are oud, obviously, in the name, but also Turkish rose is thrown in there. Um, and I always say those two notes combined are really, really nice, mainly because the oud alone obviously is a very strong, musky, woodsy note. Meanwhile, the Turkish rose is a little bit sweeter, a little bit softer. I would I would say slightly more feminine. It is a unisex scent, Oud Satin Mood, uh, but it just have a little bit of that feminine uh, feel t with that rose, but then counteracted with the more masculine Oud, so it is still pretty unisex. Now, in terms of strength, I would say, like longevity, I would say both Baccarat Rouge 540 and Oud Satin Mood are extremely long-lasting. I would say, I mean, both will at least last seven hours. Now, I will say Baccarat Rouge probably will last a little bit longer just because it's so intense. Um, maybe eight, nine, ten hours, you know. Uh, Oud Satin Mood, I could, I could say probably about eight hours on average for that one. Now, Projection, they're both also pretty similar. Baccarat Rouge probably again wins with the Projection, but I wouldn't say that's necessarily always a good thing, because sometimes you do want a lot of projection and other times you want a more subtle scent. Now I'm not saying that Oud Satin Mood is a more subtle scent because it's not, but it is more subtle than Baccarat Rouge just by a little bit. The projection is still very good with uh, Oud Satin Mood, but just not as insanely powerful as Baccarat Rouge 540. Now in general, so I would say these two fragrances are used for different types of occasions, you know, they're not interchangeable. Uh, primarily, Baccarat Rouge 540, that is, I've seen it used as a more casual type of fragrance, like a, a work fragrance or just going out to get the groceries, that sort of thing, more of a daytime kind of fragrance. Now, Oud Satin Mood, I would say, is a little bit more on the formal side just by how it smells, it has a certain vibe to it that I think is a little bit more formal. Um, so maybe better for dinners, going on a date, going out in the evening, that sort of thing. 
a little bit more formal, a little bit more of a an evening fragrance. Um, also, both of these fragrances are pretty warm, pretty cozy. Oud Satin Mood is warmer than uh, Baccarat Rouge, mainly because it has that oud note. It's more on the musky side instead of that warm sweetness that Baccarat Rouge has. For that reason, now, they're... I would say, in terms of, like, seasonal, Oud Satin Mood is more of a cold weather type of fragrance. Meanwhile, Baccarat Rouge, which is also a cold weather fragrance, is more versatile in that it could also be worn in more warmer weather, you know, more of a year-round fragrance, while uh, while Oud Satin Mood is more of a just a cold weather fragrance. Because if you wore that in hot weather, it would be way too heavy, um, too just too intense. Now, again, both of these are very high quality fragrances. They are obviously from the same brand, the same French brand that is renowned for producing extremely high quality uh, fragrances just in general. Um, and they both Baccarat Rouge and Oud Satin Mood, you could tell just by smelling them that this, this is a high quality product. This is, you know, you're, you're getting what you pay for. Um, not only just with the smell, but also its performance. Now. I personally gravitate more towards Oud Satin Mood just because uh, I'm not a big fan of how sweet Baccarat Rouge is, I'm not a big fan of sweet perfumes in general, and Oud Satin Mood is just more musky, more heavy, and I guess earthy and more natural. But again, both of these are really good fragrances, and I would recommend, before getting the full bottle of either one of these perfumes, uh, to get a sample first because both of them are pretty expensive because both of these are pretty expensive and you know at least two hundred dollars and the last thing you want to do is spend two or three hundred dollars or more in some cases and for a fragrance that you don't really care for so again good idea to get a sample first uh, try it out say you like it and there are different versions as well like, um, Baccarat Rouge has, has the Eau de Parfum, the, the uh, extract, and things like that. So, so it is important to kind of go through these different versions and determine, you know, which one do you like the best, or if you maybe don't like any of them, uh, because the samples don't, they, they don't really cost that much, and sometimes you can get them for free, depending on where you get them. But, um, that is pretty much all I have to say uh, regarding comparing Baccarat Rouge 540 with Oud Satin Mood. Uh, so hopefully you found this little kind of cross review, this double review, helpful. Uh, and if you did, of course, you can like and subscribe. Uh, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.